Hello, so let's talk about floats in LaTeX. First of all, what are they? Well, if you have an element like a figure or a table, say, which cannot be broken across multiple pages, then LaTeX will look for a location in the document where it thinks that element will work well with the other things on that page. So for example, here I have an image, which at the moment is being called using the include graphics command. So there isn't a float being applied here. Whereas if I wrap this in a figure environment, then LaTeX will apply a float to this and you can see the image will move to a slightly different location in the document. So what kind of control do I have over floats then? Well, if I put a set of square brackets next to the beginning of this environment, and if I type a lowercase h, what that will mean is it will apply a float which keeps this figure approximately here. It keeps it in approximately the same location in the document as I've written this particular section of code. If I change this to be a T, then what will happen is it will apply a float which keeps it at the top of a page. If I put a B, it will put it at the bottom of a page. And if I change this to be a P, it will put it on its own special float page. In other words, there won't be any other text on that page. It will just keep it as a float page alone. I can even combine multiple floats together. For example, if I put a T and a B together, what that will do is it will look for a float at the top of a page, but if it can't find one, it will put it at the bottom of a page instead. And in fact, I can combine as many of those four floats together as I like. If I put an exclamation mark before or around my floats, then what that will do is relax certain things like the amount of text or the number of floats which I'm gonna allow on a page. Now, if I really don't want a float being applied here, what I can do is utilize the package float in the preamble, and I can change this float control to be a capital H. And what that will do is override any of the floats being applied, but just be a warned that can sometimes cause errors if you're not careful.